Hello all, Terhi Koskinen here. This is my last layout with September hit kits uh, using mostly the main kit from September and the photograph is taken in Norway last September when I visited there teaching some workshops and the view to the ocean was so beautiful that I wanted to do a layout around that such amazing picture. Um, these are the things I'm going to work with and I'm starting with these cardstock leaves. I got them with Pickshot and the cardstock both the uh, teal green and and the white cardstock are from September cardstock kit and I got them and now I'm using Versamark pen to draw something on them because I want to use embossing powder and this pen is perfect for that. Uh, the, my drawing is uh, is not visible here but I'm thinking some kind of leaf pattern to the leaves of course and and I wasn't as happy as I wanted to be to the result because it wasn't so sharp as I wanted to be but this my was my first try so I'm quite happy about it anyway next time I will do something mm, to make it more thinner to the edges the lines you know anyway when I have made my draws, lines and all, then I'm adding the embossing powder and taking the excess off and heating them with heat gun. And now you can see the pattern with all the leaves. And then I thought it still needs something, so I took the blue paint from September color kit. It's from Shimmers and and it has really nice sheen inside the paint so I took some and adding some to the middle of the leaves mm, I have quite many of these leaves right now here and I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all but I wanted to make sure that I have them if I need them all and of course if I have some leftovers after doing this layout, I can use them for card or whatever, or the next project or something. Because the color isn't that uh, bright that it would be too visible in other creations too. And then I'm using a baby wipe to take the paint off from the embossed area. Although it doesn't stick very good to the embossed areas but I want to make sure there's not even one drop during that area. So next I'm going to do some some background work and I haven't done any gessoing on the background just added a few pencil circles and then using the same paint that I used for the leaves to the background. I want to make this um, really simple background as I'm going to use quite a lot of those leaves and also the picture is so simple that I want to leave it um, keep it with a lot of air around the picture because yeah the picture is so awesome anyway uh, I did this nice little paper cluster with September Hippicate papers uh, there's also a few tags from Great Paper, matching perfectly for the papers and for the background. And now I'm using 3D foams to to adhere the picture and some some other embellishments. This is from Maggie Holmes, I think, and it's amazing. I love this green flower and. Well, the whole September kit was so amazing that I'm still keeping my breath because it was so amazing. Anyway, now that I have set my picture, the next phase is to start the planning the design of the leaves. I know that I want to have some kind of quite big title, maybe or maybe not, but I think I will want to. So I'm adding those flowers and leaves next to the picture and still keeping some fresh white space 
and yeah after I made this video I actually added more of those leaves and flowers because I want it to be something more so so at this point you don't see that but sometimes that uh, sometimes that happens when you are starting to photograph the layout you see it oh there should be something or oh that shouldn't be there so the finishing touches actually comes before the photographing but right now you can see how I designed the embellishments around the picture and I added a little Maggie Holmes golden sticker on top of the picture to make the title but later I decided that the today the big word should be on top of the flowers I'm really happy that I tried these embossing leaves because it was quite fun but next time I will do it differently but I hope you get inspired by this and I hope you like the layout and I hope I will get my October kits soon and start doing something fun with them so thank you for watching and I hope we'll see you again soon and have a happy day and happy fall and happy spring if you are in the south and happy day thank you for watching and bye